Hello again, it's Dina back again for Gen Bear Designs doing another video on how to live a healthy, gluten free life. Um, today I'm just going to talk about breakfast, the most important meal of the day. I always get up and I'm starving. So, first thing I do is think, what am I going to have for breakfast? I tend to have the same thing more or less every single day with a few tweaks. I like to have a porridge or a muesli based breakfast cereal. So today I'll just show you this one I've got. Delicious Alchemy Booty Muesli. That one is gorgeous. Don't always find it very easily in the supermarkets. I think that one came from Waitrose. Um, I like the Tesco's muesli. I like the Sainsbury's muesli as well. They're perfectly alright for gluten free versions. Quite often add extra oats to them. Because I find there's just too much stuff in there. There's just too much fruit, too many nuts. So I have some more oats. They're not the cheapest things on the market, but they do fill me up. And I find if I have those for breakfast, then I'll be fine till lunchtime. Um, I've taken some videos and a couple of photographs to show you what I what it looks like in a bowl, basically. It's not exactly rocket science, is it? I hope these videos are of benefit to you. If they are, please subscribe. If you've got any questions, ask in the box below. Get in touch and I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Right, apologies for the standard of the following video. I did it on my phone, so it's a bit wibbly wobbly and some of it's completely out of focus. Here you can see my ingredients for my standard breakfast. I've got a tub full of muesli. Um, I think that was Tesco's. There's some creme fraiche, factory creme fraiche, and yoghurt, and some fresh fruit. So I'll put all of that together in the bowl, maybe with a little bit of milk to soften it up a bit, because otherwise it'll be a very dry mix. And that's what it looks like in the bowl. There's only about three or four spoonfuls of muesli in there. It goes a long way with a bit of milk to swell it up, with the fruit and the creme fraiche. It's a very healthy, low-fat breakfast. These sharp sweet brioche rolls, I love them, they are delicious. They're much, much better if you warm them. Put them in the microwave for 10-15 seconds. Don't try toasting them. And um, they're very small and they get, well, they get stuck in my toaster. They um, are gorgeous with jam and as a little extra treat at breakfast time. And there you go, beautiful. I hope this is of interest to you. If it is, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye now.